Thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time. Story Time! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment to my page. Here we go. Hi guys, thank you all for tuning in to Big Mama Story Time on today. Uh, for tuning in, we are going to continue. This is part three of our Disney's um, Scary Storybook Collection. And this one will be Peter Pan, Captain Hook, Shadow. All right, guys, let's get into this. And guys, again, if you're new right now, me posting these videos, I will be posting them every hour today because today is Halloween. So I am going to be posting these books every hour. All right, guys, here we go. Walk the plank, you blasted Peter Pan. John cried as he waved his wooden sword at Michael. John was pretending to be evil Captain Hook and Michael was pretending to be Peter Pan. I won't walk the plank. Michael said, and you're a codfish, Captain Hook. I'll get you for that, Peter Pan, cried John cried, imitating Captain Hook's sneer. Michael leaped off the bed, wooden sword drawn. Click, clack. The brothers chased each other around the nursery in a sword fight. For a moment, Michael felt just as he had when he was a lost boy in Neverland. All right, John and Michael, time for bed, Wendy said as he as she walked into the nursery. Just a few more minutes, Michael begged. Captain Hook is about to make me walk the plank. You'll have plenty of time to walk the plank tomorrow, Wendy said. Now it's time to sleep. Groaning, Michael and John put down their swords and crawled into their beds as Wendy turned out the light. Michael pulled the covers up to his chin and found the cool spot on his pillow. He was comfortable, but he wasn't tired at all. Soon, Michael could tell by the gentle breathing in the next bed that John was already asleep. Michael squeezed his eyes shut, but it was no use. He kept picturing evil Captain Hook trying to capture Peter Pan and the surprised look on the pirate's face when Peter got away. Suddenly, there was a rattling sound with a whoosh. Michael opened his eyes and saw that the nursery windows were op was wide open. Had someone gotten inside? That's when Michael noticed a shadow against the far wall. He gasped. The shadow was shaped just like the Captain Hook. Could it be? Quickly, Michael dove under the covers, shaking, but being under the covers didn't make him feel any better. If Captain Hook was in the nursery, Michael decided, then he wanted to know for certain. Slowly, Michael lifted the bottom edge of his blanket and peeked out. Michael still couldn't see Hook, but the captain's shadow was right there against the wall, large as life. The shadow looked around the nursery for a moment, then caught sight of something. On tiptoe, it began to creep toward the far corner. A chill ran down Michael's spine. Captain Hook was heading toward Wendy. Michael knew he had to do something. He couldn't let Captain Hook take Wendy, take her. He glanced around the nursery and his eye fell on something lying beside his bed, right beneath his hand. It was his wooden sword. Michael couldn't reach down and wrapped his fingers around the sword. Just as the shadow got to Wendy, Quickly, Michael threw off his covers and leaped toward the shadow. The shadow stumbled backward. Michael lunged at it again, but it swiped at him with his hook. Quickly, Michael dove under his, his bed. The shadow reached for him, but Michael scooted away just in time. When the shadow leaped onto the bed and Michael gulped, waiting for the sharp hook to swipe at him again. He began to wonder why he was only seeing Captain Hook's shadow and not Hook himself. But there was no time to think about that now. Michael realized he couldn't stay under the bed. Captain Hook was sure to get him sooner or later. Michael darted out from under the bed, but the shadow jumped after him. Gasping, Michael stumbled backward and tripped over a ball lying on the floor. The shadow skulked 
toward him slowly. Now Captain Hook has got me for sure, Michael thought, shivering. He pictured the crocodile that waited for anyone who walked the plank. Mm. Cockle doo doo doo! A voice cried suddenly. Peter Pan! Michael shouted as his hero flew in through the window. There it is, Peter cried. It's Captain Hook's shadow. Don't let it get away. The shadow tried to run, but Peter flew after it. What? Michael said. It's only a shadow. Michael picked himself up off the floor and ran after the shadow too. The shadow leaped onto the wooden toy chest. Grab it from the other side, Peter called. Michael ran toward the shadow from the right. As Peter flew at it from the left, the shadow was now trapped. In a flash, Michael reached out and caught the shadow. Put it in here! Peter cried, holding out a sack. Michael stuffed the shadow into the sack and Peter tied it closed with a piece of rope. Whew! Peter said, that was close. What was Captain Hook's shadow doing here? Michael asked. I stole the shadow from for the for a prank. Peter explained. Some prank? That shadow had been nothing but trouble. Pulling the lost boys' tails and putting pine coals in their beds. And then it sneaked away from Neverland. How awful, Michael cried. Peter nodded. I have to fly back to Neverland and return it right away. While everyone aboard Captain Hook's ship is still asleep. Good idea, Michael said. Do you want to come with me? Peter asked. It'll be a great adventure. I don't think I'd want to go without Wendy and John, Michael said. Then let's bring them, Peter said as he flew to Wendy's bed. He reached down to give her a gentle shake, but then drew his hand back. Aw, oh, she's fast asleep, he said. Peter looked over at John and said, John's fast asleep too. Maybe next time, Michael said. Next time, Peter echoed, jumping to the window ledge. Goodbye, Michael. Tell Wendy and John I said hello. He called as he flew off into the night. I will, Michael promised. He sat in the window seat smiling, glad to have had this very own, his very own real life adventure with Peter Pan. All right, guys, that is the end of Peter Pan. The next book will be The Little Mermaid in an hour. Come back, come and see this next book. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my page if you haven't done so already. All right, guys, bye.